it's it's finally showed up. Dad's late birthday present. There she is. Oh, it's a little bit muddy now. I'm a little bit pumped for this thing. You guys, you ready to see it? I think you are. so quiet and anymore it's not as loud as our magnum is our magnum is a lot louder than that if you finally made it wow she's here a lot of people. <laughs> oh that's great I told you I this is the uh, new planting machine, I suppose. So this is a 2014 Case IH 180 Magnum. Um, it's, uh, let's see, what does it got for hours on it? Uh, it's got about 1,800 engine hours on it, and this thing is extremely clean. I, man, unbelievable. I mean, there's a little bit of dust on it, but our tractor looks the same way. This is pretty much the same cab as what's in the uh, 235, so it's got the Bluetooth radio, the Pro 700, which is where all your tractor uh, menus are, and your settings, and all and your hydraulic settings, and all that stuff. That's what controls the tractor and the GPS and everything. Um, you got your throttle with your button paddle shifters, your PTO, your hydraulics, your wheel. And then your paddle shifter thing right there. The dash is the same, A post the same. It's all the same stuff. What what is this thing? It, it's like a dial. What is that thing? Oh, we just went on a nice little joy ride with it. I was driving and um so some things that that I noticed about it uh to start with is it steers quite a bit easier compared to that other magnum the only thing i could really think of uh, is because this one does not have front duels meaning it just doesn't have duels in the front of it so it's not like the back like how that tractor is where it's got duels and everything mounted on and the spacers and all that uh it doesn't it does not have any of that um the other thing is just how quiet it is um the cab is still the same, so I don't think it's because it's got it's just a quiet cab. Well, I mean it is, but it's not any quieter than the Magnum cab. It's just this new exhaust system and muffler just makes it ten times quieter compared to ours uh, or the other one. Not this. This is still this is also ours now, uh, but the other one is a lot louder uh, compared to this tractor. So this tractor is so much so much quieter. Um, this one also will run 26 miles an hour. That other one will run 24, so this one also does run actually a little bit faster. This has actually been in the works for a couple of weeks now. Um, we, we, it was kind of just a, it was kind of a last-minute decision. We saw it 
popped up uh, on the case website and we bought it uh, so it got got here pretty uh, pretty quickly but then we had to do a bunch of we had a lot of technology issues with it uh, when it was at the case I dealership but that's that is all worked out um, and now it is all ready to be hooked onto the planter uh, but now we got to pull everything out of the 2294, the old planting tractor, and throw it onto this tractor because, well, I don't know. Can you see the pond of water up there again? Yeah, we got a little bit more rain last night. Came in or late, late afternoon. It was extremely, extremely heavy. It is actually... Um, it was actually dad's birthday yesterday and he wanted to bring it home yesterday but they needed to do a calibration on it today before he brought it home so i think this will do for a pretty good early bir or late birthday present uh at least i believe um so dad's going ahead he's getting out that truck uh he's gonna we did a little little machinery shuffling in that other shed so that truck can be able to fit uh up in inside of there uh and then, so we got that Magnum all washed up, soaped. Use, we use soap, hot water, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get these doors open so we can get the planter out. Because the plan is, is we're gonna hopefully try to get that this planter out uh, and then unhook, bring the planter into the shop, unhook the planter on the shop pad, and then hook the Magnum up to the planter on the shop pad so we can get everything hooked up. And then we'll start taking stuff out of that tractor, all the monitors and stuff, and start mounting it into there. All right, guys. So this is probably going to end up being a little bit of a shorter video than most of them, uh, but I'm going to try to make this a one to two part series here. Uh, this is probably going to be the first part. Um, is just that more so reveal the tractor, uh, nice good look at it, um, and then the rest of them is going to be setting it up for the planter because there's. There's going to be a lot of stuff to do this tractor before it can even function and work right with that, with the planer. So, this is the first part of it. Uh, this is going to be the big reveal of it. Uh, and the rest of them is going to be setting the rest of the days, setting up the actual planner and getting it ready for this tractor. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys.